So I am currently at Target in Spring Valley and uh, off camera I walked into this toy aisle and I found the Hasbro rep. Started talking to him, he was scanning the pegs. I asked him for something. He said I was actually about to go put that out. And this is what he was talking about. <laughs> Yo, what's going on folks? Century Mad Collector here, your Prince of Plastic has returned once again with another hunt. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's my smelly elite hat. Oh, we're not wearing it today, but we're definitely bringing it along with us. It is a good luck charm. Oh God, it stinks. It's a good luck charm. And uh, if you don't know why it's a good luck charm, go check out some of my hunt videos, especially the last few. Go check out all of my hunt videos. But uh, the last couple have been pretty special, especially towards the end. Uh, so definitely go check those out. We need this hat along with us uh, for some good luck. Speaking of smelly things, I have not smelled that red and black checkered musty GameStop rug in months. Um, I hit GameStop on a restock around here towards the end of last summer and uh, went back a few times after that. Got dry pretty quick around the fall months. Haven't been back there since. So uh, I'm in the mood for some GameStop. So we'll probably hit one or two GameStops on this hunt. Uh, Motu Origins. My buddy. Shout out to my buddy, Chainer. Chainer Fails. The absolute best. Diablo 3 player in the world. In the world. Pretty damn good Toy Hunter too. He's finding Motu Origins like it's nobody's business. He recently found the latest wave, which is super fire. All of the waves, Motu waves, are super fire. Motu is super fire. So we are looking for new Motu. Uh, Black Series, Black Series, Black Series, Black Series. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Black Series, Black Series, Black Series. I definitely need a uh, Gamorrean Guard. I need two Gamorrean Guards. I believe the Grievous reissue is out or should be out very soon. Some Bad Batch should be out now or very, very soon. So we'll be on the, the lookout for all of that. Still need a Million Dollar Man Black Suit uh, DiBiase. So we'll be hunting some Elites. Uh, we have every, everything else we need from that wave right now. Um, we're good on Legends, Marvel Legends. Uh, I would like the 3 and 3 quarter uh, Green Hulk. That would be nice and Magneto. Still need those. DC Multiverse. I want Bizarro. Uh, looks like he's hitting shelves, so, and the assortment of NECA stuff that I've passed on that I want, uh, that I haven't seen, we'll be looking for that. Migo Horror, which we never see on this channel, and whatever else we can get into. So, without further ado, folks, I have no idea where this first store, uh, what this first store is going to be, uh, but I will see you once we get there. Alrighty, approaching the main stand, uh, musty red and black checkered rug. Ludo, some DBZ, some older Black Series, Halo, what else, some Farland, I don't see any, uh, I'm actually looking for those Witcher figures, I haven't seen them at Walmart, the exclusives, I haven't seen the regular ones here, so, Scarecrow is awesome. Legends, and some more legends that are old. What else? Let's move on down. Ooh, yes, yes. It's gonna be quiet in here. It's like not many people I don't be rude. First time seeing this. The regular seven inch they're all the Rivia. I'm taking this. I'm taking this got a job. Wow, haven't seen him in months. Some other assorted legends, nothing we need. Some black series. Uh, we've got some other rangers here. 
getting into some, man, these Transformers are pretty cool. I will say that. And that Destro is pretty awesome for what it is. Looking up. Looking like a 12 inch girl. Also looks very dope. We are not collecting that scale, but that is cool. But this with the wolf head is awesome. This is awesome. Um, hmm. That's pretty much it. Some reactions, transformers. Let's flip around and check some clearance. Not all too much here. I think that is going to do it. I'm taking this guy. GameStop number two, baby. Here we go. Some. Oh, right in my face. Yes. Eridan Rayoff Glass. Or as this New York Italians would say, Eridan. Eridan break glass. Fuck yourself. Got uh, some Apex, some Rangers. DBZ, the usual. This is awesome. Completing the set. Love it. Oh, look at this. Pretty stacked, actually. Some good old fashioned batch. This two pack is fire. Shout out to the Poppin' Couple, man. Fresh in to that collection. Go check them out. Definitely sub up to my man. I don't need any of this other stuff, though. Getting the stock old legends in here. What else we got? That's a Fortnite that uh, ain't nobody cares about. I've never seen Plastic Patroller before. Anything else in here? Is there like a Black Series wall or something? It's my first time in this place. Um, hmm. I don't know. You guys tell me. You see anything? Fortnite Sentinel. I think that's going to be it. So I'm going to take this guy. This is so awesome. I'm. This is, you put your mind to anything, folks. Anything is possible. Definitely screwed up that quote, but uh, who cares? Taking him. So I am currently at Target in Spring Valley and uh, off camera, I walked into this toy aisle and I found the Hasbro rep. Started talking to him, he was scanning the pegs and uh, I asked him for something. He said, I was actually about to go put that out, go out in the back and put it out. And this is what he was talking about. Bam. Nemo 2 all lined up. This wave, these waves are fire. They become, they're just getting, it's more fire every single time. That Hordak is amazing, all of them. It's a darker wash on that Hordak too, by the way. Darker gray, Ninjor, Stratos, Triclops, sick. Here are a couple extra on the pegs. He took two for himself. He took a Hordak, Triclops for himself. Got an extra Ninjor. He actually made a very interesting point about uh, He-Man and Skeletor peg warming. And I actually think what he said was very insightful and pretty intelligent. We'll talk about that at Coffee Talk, but uh, yeah, man. Outside of that, it's nothing special. The usual nonsense. Um, if there's anything in Mecca, I will let you know. I will show you. Oh, there's this. Electrotron. Ecto-1 Transformers. I haven't seen that, I don't think. But yeah, man, this wave is insane and we are about to scoop it yo what's going on people it is day two of this hunt and man we don't really need to do much more hunting for this uh for this video i think we have plenty to break down which we will very soon i think this is going to be the last day of this hunt but you know a hunt is not complete on this channel with a little without a little coffee and a little coffee talk and those two walmarts in norwalk connecticut that we all know and love. I always say that, but I might be the only one that knows and loves them. Well, I'm not the only one that knows them. I might be the only one that loves them. Um, I just really enjoy going there, the whole process. And now I get to not just only talk to myself about this stuff. I get to talk to you guys about it, uh, which is awesome. So that is the agenda for the day today. And then we will break down the hall. Hopefully we can run into some... Uh, NECA Brothers 2-packs, even though we don't need them. It's crazy to say, but I don't need... I am all caught up on NECA TMNT across the board. 
animated line, movie line, it's awesome. But it would be nice to see uh, some, it's always nice to see some NECA TMNT movie turtles at Walmart. Uh, I still haven't seen any gold label Witcher stuff. I don't know if I need them. I just, as you guys saw, I just picked up uh, the regular McFarlane uh, releases for the Witcher 3 figures, which I kind of like better. Um, but I would like to see those. Have not seen them yet. Haven't even seen Mandarin Spawn, which we also have uh, through an online order because I knew this would happen. Haven't seen those at all. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, so it would be nice to see that. Maybe, 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 maybe we'll catch Black Series on an early release at Walmart. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, we're about to find out. So I will see you guys over in Norwalk. Okay, let's see. Does the neck section have anything new? Nope. We're about to hit the uh, weekly update here on the wrestling end cap. Elites. Looks like they cleaned it up with the same old stuff. Actually, not the same old stuff. Some of it looks like it's selling. We have a Series 81. Montez Ford. And flipping around now into the main toy aisle, we've got, we've definitely got a public service announcement coming soon, I'm sure, at this place. Jonathan Belair, some basics, two packs. Take on the bike. Some rings. Nada. <laughs> this is, this whole shelf has got to be collecting dust at this point. I mean, what the heck? And this, Peggy's. Cannot wait for the new wave. Get an Ecto-1 and some ghosts, it's awesome. Ghost popper, no Joes, but a cart. Random assortment of emptiness. Got a leftover House of X. Only Frogman, Peter B. Plentiful, some Prowlers, Peter B. Plentiful. Flipping back around. Fortnite. And Transformers, what do we have here? Three Transformers guys, we've got Optimus Prime, Shockwave, Soundwave, Megatron, wow. Man, too bad I'm not into Transformers. Every time I always find these things. Another Megatron. Not Calvin Johnson. Who else? Some three and three quarter black series. Queen Amidala. TIE Fighter Pilot. And what else? DC Multiverse. We have the usual stuff that we've been seeing here. And if I flip around, my guess would be, yep. Same old stuff. Okay. So I think that is going to wrap it up. I will see you guys at 680 Connecticut Avenue. Oh, it's looking like blank wall city. No restock here. What's supposed to be up here? I think this is, yeah, dinos or something. And we flip around into, oh wow, look at all this. Look at all this. WrestleMania, lots of Chinas. Oh my goodness. Someone forgot to put China out at some point. And some uh, Series 81 figs. We've got, this is awesome. If I didn't find this super early. Very cool, we got a steamboat left. I really need Jake the Snake. Oh, we've got a chase in the house. Got a chase, Nakamura. Nakamura chase, okay, something. Bunch of Nakamuras. Raw 10s, as we all know. Uh, we flip around into, uh, not much. Some Godzilla Kong. Of course, no G.I. Joes at all. No, nothing really. Not much going on there. And then we've got Halo. And moving on down, we also have no legends. <laughs> no legends, no legends, no legends. And we've got the usual He-Man Skeletor. Battlecab Prince Adam. The Hasbro rep I was talking to yesterday, I think I mentioned it to you guys. We're going to talk about that at Coffee Talk in a few moments, but uh, he had something interesting to say about that. Oh. 
More battle droids. I might pick those up for my army. And Endor, two thirds of that set. That is going to do it, folks. Not much going on here. Yole, yole, yole. <laughs> Bam. good it's tasty every time oh man it's just so good mm. oh let me know in the comments if you want to turn this segment into a mukbang i'll do it i eat like a savage have a gigantic appetite for anyone that cares but by god the power of this coffee anyway before we get into anything i want to shout each and every one of you guys out yes that's right Everybody that supports this channel, viewers, subscribers, all of you guys, man, I, uh, and this is the only time I'm going to mention uh, the giveaway that's happening right now. Uh, it's a pop-up giveaway is kind of what I've coined it or what I'm calling it. Um, for anyone that doesn't know or that isn't aware, a few hunt videos ago, on a whim, I was in a random target and... Uh, I said something stupid as usual, and it was a movie quote. It was a stupid movie quote, and uh, but it was kind of obscure and just very uh, definitely not well known. And I said, if anyone could guess this movie quote, I'll do a giveaway. And Joshua Clan, shout out to you, buddy. He did, and uh, I'm a man of my word, and we're doing a giveaway. However, the giveaway, the way the giveaway is structured uh, this time around, anyone that's been in and around this channel for a while or since its inception knows that typically when I do giveaways it's usually I make a separate video it runs for a month I have the rules and guidelines and all that sort of good stuff and the giveaways you know it's the giveaways are for you guys it's not for me uh which is also going to be uh further to my point in a minute but um so that's typically how I do my giveaways uh this time around I decided you know what I am just going to do the giveaway in my next hunt video. I'm going to do it during... When did I do it? When did I say I was doing it? Uh, during the breakdown of the hall, coffee talk, something. I'm going to do it in the middle of the video. For anyone that is actually watching the video all the way through, whoever's, whoever's watching this video, if you see it, uh, you're eligible for the giveaway. All you have to do is comment in the comment section below, not of this video, of the other video, and that's it. So the only way you're going to actually know about the giveaways, if you watch the video, genuinely watch the video, innocently stumble upon uh, the giveaway, and you're on your way to being eligible. And I just think it's, it's, it's best that way and easiest that way for everybody, for you guys, even for me. You know, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to do all these other things. Not that there really isn't anything other. Normally, with my uh, subscriptions, or my subscriptions, I don't have any. With my um, giveaways, uh, I ask to subscribe. you guys to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram because that's where I announce the giveaway. Um, you know, like, comment, all that stuff. So it's nothing crazy anyway to begin with. But uh, for these pop-up giveaways, which I think I'm going to do from, you know, henceforth uh all you have to do is comment when i announce when i say in whatever video it is you still leave a comment below and uh you're eligible i'll let it run for a month and that's it you don't have to subscribe you don't have to do anything else you don't have to like if you don't want to like it just simply comment the word claim and that's it and that has gotten i've received a huge response in my last video which uh has me a little taken back. Like, I, I wasn't expecting anyone... I wasn't expecting that many people to really even find the giveaway. But the fact that you guys... Because it's deep into the video. The fact that so many people are actually, like, watching these videos through, like, the engagement is... You know, I've obviously, based on views and comments and interactions and everything, the engagement's been great. Don't get me wrong. I just... I mean, even given that... The, uh, the actual response from you guys has been incredible. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to really watch these videos. I, you know, they're not short. So, um, and so the fact that so many people made it to the point where I announced that giveaway, that's awesome, man. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, I'm all about giving back to you guys and, and to the community. And, uh, which is why I love, I love these pop-up giveaways because it's like, if you're, if you're, I, you know, I want to give back to the people that 
are supporting this channel and supporting me, right? And what is that? That's hopefully you're enjoying these videos. And if you are, that means you're watching them. So all the way through. Uh, so it makes sense to me to, to, me to put these um, uh, giveaways, you know, in the middle of these videos, like I'm saying, that I'm going to continue to do. Uh, I don't want you to subscribe unless you want to subscribe, right? Like I'm a big proponent of that. Like I'm not, don't subscribe because I'm telling you to, or because another channel or a bigger channel is telling you to sub me. I don't want that. I want you to subscribe to this channel because you genuine, because you find my videos and you genuinely want to. You can enter the giveaway and you don't have to subscribe. That's cool. You watched the video. You commented. You supported the channel for that video. If you don't like this stuff, you know, as Rick Steiner would say, if you don't like me, bite me. Um, so, you know, I just, uh, but, and that's cool. Like I only, but I just, I want people to sub, not because of a giveaway, but because you found my content, you found my videos, you found my channel and you like it. So thank you all very much, whether you sub or not, thank you for, uh, Striking claim in the uh, comments of the other uh, video running right now. Uh, it's running for a month, so uh, and I think that's how we're going to do it. So let me know in the comments also of this section. Let me know uh, if you like this idea. Let me know what you're thinking for because I feel like with the pop-up giveaways, I have so much flexibility. Let me know what you guys are looking for. Let me know what you guys would like to see uh, you know, as a giveaway next. And uh, we'll, we'll roll with it and see because I'm finding stuff. And I'm finding extras, so I'd love to just, you know, do some giveaways. Um, so, yeah, that is that. Lengthy. Um, oh, so good. Let's get into a little toy talk. I have something to showcase, something very special in, in, a, in a few moments. But, uh, and there's really not much to tell. What are we talking about here? Drier than the Sahara, as usual. It is what it is, you know. Um, I didn't realize, so I don't know if you guys caught it or not. Or if I showed it long enough, but the elites were like 15 bucks. Like I scanned that Nakamura chase, which I don't need. And it was like, came up like 1595. I was like, what? So let me know. Like, what you got? Like, is that, what's the deal with that? Um, maybe I just never paid attention. Are elites really not 1999 here? <laughs> um, I don't know. I thought that they were, I don't know. Uh, whatever. So I thought that was interesting. Other than that, there really wasn't much to talk about, uh, at these Walmarts. Hopefully we'll get a restock soon. It's unbelievable to me that stuff that's shout out to sleeping collectibles. We were just talking about this the other day. Uh, and shout out to Stargill. These guys, Stargill literally laughs. He laughs at Mandarin Spawn and Witcher figures. He points and he laughs. I haven't seen any of that crap once. So the gold label stuff. Again, I don't know if I want the gold label stuff. I do like the color schemes on them, but I like the uh, the game accurate uh, figures that I picked up during this hunt, which was awesome. It was nice, kind of nice to be back in Game Stops, a couple of Game Stops again. Uh, but let me know, let me know what you guys think of those Witcher figures. The uh, Walmart exclusives and the regular ones. Which one do you guys like more? That 12 inch is awesome too, but it just doesn't fit my collection. Um, but that is super cool. The only 12 inch stuff I have, you know, are Star Wars hot toys and a lot of them. Uh, but so, so yeah, I'm not, I mean, there's, there was no place for, for that 12 inch, but it, it looked really good. I mean, we're going to break down the hall, um, at home in Boxville, but, uh, those Witcher figures are pretty excellent. Uh, speaking of pretty excellent, I want to show this to you guys. So my good buddy Dino met through the community, through this channel. Such an awesome guy, man. I mean, just this box shows up uh, yesterday and um, I see his name on it. And I'm like, what the heck? What is this? I open it up, unprompted, unannounced, nothing. No communication, just sends me this. How awesome is this? How awesome is this? Mando, three and three quarter. There's the back. And in, like, mint on card. Mint condition. Take a look at the card. It's coming off the card, but, you know. You know how I do. Right? Really, really nice. Bubble intact. Sorry for the glare. 
but man, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. I believe I have the uh, chromed out version. I never, I don't think I ever found this guy. This is amazing. So awesome. And even if I had 20 of them, the fact that, Dino, thank you, buddy. The fact that you're just sending me this out of the goodness of your heart. I mean, like, what a, what a sweetheart of a dude. Thank you very much, man. I really, really appreciate this. This is such an awesome figure. Ah, oh, I love it. I have a very focused uh, three and three quarter Star Wars collection. And uh, Mando, I definitely need him and some others. So to have this is just, uh, is really cool. And this is going to be something that's going to be super hard to find in the future as well. Super hard to find now, but, um, really nice to have this. Thank you again, buddy. You are the man. I appreciate you. This is what this community is all about. I, what can I say? Uh, I know some really good peeps. So, um, I think that's going to just about wrap it up. I'm trying to see, is there anything else that I can think of? Uh, no, you know, it's like there aren't any real D-bags, uh, worth mentioning as of late, you know, here and there you get some interesting comments that are always worth sharing, but nothing really out of the ordinary, uh, recently. Uh, oh, NECA, speaking of something that's cool, not D-bags, NECA, gargoyles, are you kidding me? Let me know in the comments who is jumping on that. I cannot wait for those. What an announcement. It just, uh, I was talking to my buddy Big Dub the other day. Shout out to him. Go sub up to him if you haven't already. But man, dude, we were just talking about how there's just so much goodness. Literally the night before, we were talking about how there's so much goodness and hard. it's just hard to, you know, keep a narrowed focus and keep the collection, you know, in control. And this doesn't help the mitigation at all. Man, just unbelievable. What an announcement. That is going to be awesome. And I will definitely be picking those up. So the other thing I wanted to mention, one of the main things I wanted to talk about, I almost forgot about. So yesterday I walk into the Target in Spring Valley, as you guys just saw, and uh, we found new Motu. So, but the way that we found it um, was kind of fun. Not usually something that uh, happens on this channel, running into a Hasbro rep, but anyway, so I'm walking into the main toy aisle, I'm rounding the corner into the main toy aisle, and there I see someone scanning the pegs. I then see a little Hasbro, a little Hasbro icon on his on his on his polo shirt, and I was like, awesome. Um, so I was like, yo, um, new Motu, dude, and he's like, he's like, yeah, I was actually about to go in the back and get it and put it on the pegs. He's like, I was just scanning the pegs for this in Black Sears. I was like, oh yes, yes. So he came back out, gave me some, uh, gave me the whole wave unpunched. So cool. Shout out to Santos, you're awesome, buddy. Thank you. Um, put the rest on the pegs. He took two for himself because he's a collector. He was telling me he's got like the, uh, he's got a Castle Grey Skull that he's renovating right now and, and fixing up. And he's going to go put some of these, uh, he took Hordak and uh, Triclops. And um, he's going to throw those guys in Castle Grey Skull uh, for some battles. So I think that's awesome. Um, so shout out to him hooked it up. He also scanned the pegs for Black Series, as I just mentioned, and he's like, yeah, those should be there tomorrow, which is today, uh, but they're street dated for the first. So we'll see. Early bird gets the worm. We're going to see if we can go out and grab some new Black Series on the first. Um, I did pre-order uh, Gamorrean Guards uh, at GameStop. I had a coupon, and I wasn't messing around with those, so at least I'll have, I wanted two of them, so I have two of those. I'm free balling it with Grievous. So we're going to see if we can grab him. And I think one or two Bad Batch uh, figures are set for release um, on the first. Uh, so we'll see if we can find any of those. So that's that's exciting. That'll be in a different video. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, so we started talking. We were talking for a while, uh, Santos and I. And um, one of the things he mentioned to me, it's funny because I was about to complain about, you know, the fact that he-Man and Skeletor are peg warmers, and he, like, read my mind. He's like, you know, some people may say, oh, He-Man and Skeletor are peg warming. Like, why is that? Like, what's up with that? And I was like, yeah, it's crazy to me. And I was like, I, it's kind of, like, disgusting. I hate seeing it. He's like, well, no. He's like, no, I mean, I, I, the way I look at it is, you know, people coming into the toy aisle 
will walk in and they'll the, one of the first things they'll see is He-Man and Skeletor, and they'll say, oh, that's cool. I didn't know those were back. They're making those again. Okay. And people will be aware that you know, these are, that these figures and Masters of the Universe is, is, is back in town. So, and I never really thought about it that way, but it's so true. And it's, it's good marketing, it's good advertising. Eventually those will sell out, and I think eventually for anyone that invests in this stuff, uh, I do think those two figures in particular, the flagship figures of the uh, franchise, will definitely be worth something. Um, I mean, you see it all the time. Look at those WWE retros, Mattel retros, right? Like, on clearance at five below for five bucks. And now all of a sudden, you know, some of them are selling for anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars or more. Um, it's crazy. So for something like masters of the universe, where it's like, you don't think people are buying them or whatever the case may be, or they seem like they have a lot of them. I actually think he's right. And I no longer get upset now, uh, seeing any of these figures on the pegs because it does show people that, what's out and what's available. So I, I, I thought that was a different take on, uh, seeing those things out on the pegs. He's like, it should be the same for Joe's. He's like, you never see the Joe's out on the pegs. Cause everyone always takes them before they even get out of the shippers. And I said, that's tr I haven't seen any of the new waves, any of the new exclusives, none of them. So it's true. Like, how are you going to know about that? Unless you're online or, you know, a lot of people that collect, I think are probably like my age around anywhere from 25 to and up, you know, I'm 38. So um, I don't really don't think little kids collect action figures. I think they're playing games. I mean, what Fortnite, why doesn't Fortnite sell? You know, it's like, I don't collect Fortnite. Who's going to collect Fortnite? People that like little kids that would be playing the games. They're busy playing the games. So I don't know. Um, and all the stuff that's out now, I think about the things that I collect. Masters of the Universe, Thundercats, G.I. Joes, three and three quarter, uh, some Marvel Legends, um, nothing NECA horror NECA in general which is all just nostalgia throwback stuff right so you know it's uh it's interesting and I thought that his uh vantage point on on and and take on his perspective on the Skeletor Skeletor and He-Man uh peg warming thing was was pretty pretty interesting and pretty cool and uh I agree with that it's it's good it's good for people to know that it, that stuff is out there and um it should be the same for Joe's, you know, it really should. But uh, we all know how that goes. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. And until next time, folks, go get yourself a donut delight or else, what are you doing? All righty, folks, back home here in Boxville with the hunting spoils. We made a little field goal here, so we are going to kick it right through the uprights right now. That was so corny and break down this haul. Okay guys, so up first we have two more battle droids to add to the collection. This now marks us at eight battle droids for our battle droid three and three quarter army. Very cool. Like I said guys, I can't have enough of these so I'm just scooping them up as I find them and I have been finding them lately. Up next we have two big boys of this hunt. Two figures I have seen for the first time on this channel in this video. I haven't been to GameStops in a while and uh, I am glad that I started hunting back at good old GameStop. It was fun to be back in there. I love that red and black checkered musty rug. It's just one of those things. And uh, we wound up finding two of the Witcher figures that uh, I have been hoping to find in gold label form in Walmart, which we haven't yet, but these honestly are the two I really wanted. Uh, Jury's out on the gold label stuff, but let me get a little closer look here for you guys at Geralt of Rivia. Check that head portrait out. Fantastic. His leather and chainmail looks absolutely awesome. I mean, you get this figure for $19.99, or I got it for this one, $24.99, $5 coupe. I got it for $17.99 after all was said and done. Take a look, if you can, at... Uh, werewolf that wolf portrait is so cool he'll be holding that Let's see if I can get in there a little bit more for you guys would have been nice to see a little blood splatter on the sword but hey got to make it kid friendly I guess right this is a prime one but man look at the detail on his armor guys a mix of leather chain mail it's like coif mail 
Uh, no studded leather. It's just a mix of leather and chain. Leather gauntlets look good as well. And that head portrait is just awesome. Fantastic. Right down to the boots. Looks like we have toe articulation there. Very, very cool. What a figure. And moving on to Erden Breaglas. Very elven. New York Italians, stand up. Erden Breaglas, go fuck yourself. Yeah, you got the spiky helmet. And he does. You're looking at what looks like to be a plated helmet, plated gauntlets, right straight out of the game. Look at the markings on his leather apron. All the way up, his plated belt. Just fantastic. Plated rib cage. Take a look at that head portrait. We'll get a little closer there. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this style of breakdown for the hole. Excellent. I mean, these two together, take a look at that. I can't wait to get these guys open. We will see about the, what is that? It's like old Yankee Stadium, something on the floor. We will see uh, what the gold label is like, but I am just super happy with these and very happy to have these added into the collection. I hope we get more Witcher 3 figures in this line. Please, McFarlane, if you're listening, which I know you're not, but uh, people that do matter, I have to believe that I'm not the only one that feels this way. Let's see this line explode. Well, 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 what do we have here? What a wave this is. Can't wait to jump into this. And you know, you guys might be wondering, well, why do you have two Hordax? And why does this card look a little different than the rest of these cards? Well, this card is the original Motu Origins vintage card from 30 years ago, 40 years ago. <laughs> Um, shout out to Zombie Sailor. I originally, I'm opening this at some point. I originally had a mock one. This is mock. All of this stuff is mock and uncirculated. But I had an even more minty fresh one. Uh, but I realized I don't need that because I open all of my stuff with the exception of very few things. Uh, and I'm going to be opening up this one. So I sold off my super minty one, purchased another one from Zombie uh, for a little less do re me. And uh, as you can see, cracked bubble, but who cares? The figure is mint. We'll be opening him, and I figured I'd break him out for a comparison uh, for you guys to see. So, as you can as you can tell, the cards are exactly the same, with the exception of you can see that the yellow design behind uh, the yellow background behind the evil horde, uh, and here you just get his name Hordak in white, uh, as opposed to the horde symbol, which is awesome, and the font in black. Uh, and the figures are definitely a little different. I actually thought the, so the wash on the new guy, the new Hordak, Motu Origins Hordak, is a little darker, more of a gunmetal uh, gray compared to uh, the lighter gray wash we get on the original Motu vintage figure. Uh, you could also tell, and I've noticed this even on He-Man and few head portraits, I'm not even mad at it, but you know, so the original head portrait for Hordak, as you can see there, and a little different here, he's got, I would say, I wouldn't say more expression, but it's definitely a little different. He's, his eyes are a little more open here, a little more blacked out here. He's squinting a bit more, almost more of, I would even say more of an animated look on this guy than on this one. They're both awesome. And I actually love that there's a little bit of a difference because side by side, they will look a little different. And that's really cool. I'm gonna probably acrylic seal this guy up once I open him. Um, I just, I take a statue approach to my figures. I'm a paint and sculpt guy first over anything else. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, you can see the different head portraits there. They are different. And a little bit of a different color, uh, yellow on the Motu Origins Hordak compared to vintage Hordak. And I don't, I don't think that's from aging either, so. Uh, but yeah, so you got a different gray wash, a different head portrait. You can see on the side of his face, his black markings go all the way up. Side of the face, black markings go all the way up. So the real main difference on his head uh, from new to old, old to new, really are the eyes. Maybe a 
little extra red in his mouth on the vintage. But yeah, so there you go. Original Hordak, O2 Origins Hordak. Moving on, we have Triclops, looking phenomenal. Just like the original, so awesome. Ninjor, same thing. I really, really, really am digging that Ninjor. Love it. And the character I wasn't really crazy about as a kid, oh, by the way, that's Boxville. Uh, a character I wasn't really crazy about as a kid, but have grown to love, Stratos. Just an excellent line. Only seeming to get better and better as time goes on. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for this hunting haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little extra special treat with the Motu, original Motu vintage Hordak uh, figure. I, I, this is some of the stuff I absolutely love, comparing old with the new, and being able to have both uh, is, is, is pretty awesome. Uh, there will be more uh, content like this to come much more in depth once I have uh, this setup done and ready and Boxville is gone. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this uh, format for the breakdown of hauls. And if you did, I will continue to do it. And uh, like I said, guys, thank you so much for all of your continued ongoing love and support. Amazing love and support of this channel. It's only going to get better and better. And I'll catch you on the next time. Peace.